Right, so I'm here with uh, Nissan LMP1 driver Olivier Pla. So Olivier, uh, 2015 must be pretty exciting for you. Yeah, of course it is uh, exciting. It's uh, very, for me, it's it's a very special year as it is the first year from Nissan in uh, in Le Mans. Where they, they come back to Le Mans this year, uh, and uh, I'm obviously very happy to be involved with them uh, as. A, as a manufacturer, you know, when you have a chance to, to drive for Nissan, it's great for a driver. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different uh, concept, a different car, but uh, makes the things very interesting, you know, in terms of development. Of, of course, a lot of uh, a lot of work, but um, as it's so different, you know, you go to some uh, some different direction, you know, uh, and uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Sure, and you've raced in sports cars for a fair few years now. Um, and what, it's quite a radical concept, the front-wheel drive, front-engine uh, car. No other team currently within the field in the LMP1 class is, is running it. So what sort of changes have you felt um, regarding regard driving that and a um, traditional sort of concept-style car? Um, and how have, you, how have you found it so far? Yeah, it's, it's a different car, they say. Uh, but um, to drive it, you know, it's not that different. You know? yeah, of course, it's a front-wheel drive car. Uh, but there is nothing to do with, uh, with a touring car or, or any car of kind uh, of car like that. It's um, the way as you drive the car. I would say it's like a normal LMP car. You know, it's a car who produces a lot of downforce. It's a very stiff car. You know, the car is not rolling uh, as much as a touring car, for example, with a front wheel drive. So it's totally different. So of course, you never get a um, snap over steer on exit, or there is something wrong. <laughs> But um, but uh, the way as you drive the car, to be honest, it's very very similar to to, uh, to a normal uh, LMP1 car. Sure. And the car set to make its debut in the, in the WEC um, at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. It's never going to make Silverstone or indeed Spa. Um, so even getting to the, the finish at the end of the 24 Hours would be a huge achievement for the team. Oh no, for sure. Of course, you know we want to be uh, we want to be reliable. You know this is also a very important point for us, and uh, we know that. Uh, Arriving in Le Mans for our first race is not going to be easy at all, but uh, I think, you know, there is a very, very good group of people, you know, involved in this program and working a lot, you know. Of course, you know, we are not here in Silverstone and Spa, but I think it was definitely the right decision, you know, in order to let us work more and to develop the car more for Le Mans. And uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, the right things to do. So um, everyone is very motivated and then we, uh, we all want to do very well, you know, so we will do our best to do it. Sure. And just finally, you've got a very experienced driver lineup alongside you, nine drivers, including the likes of Mark Genet, Max Chilton, Jan Mardenborough and so on and so forth. So how's the team gelling so far? What's the atmosphere like with your teammates? Oh, it's great. You know, we, we haven't spent a lot of time together because we are testing at a different, uh, different time. But um, the last time we could, uh, we could spend together, it was, uh, it was, you know, there is a good, uh, good, um, good atmosphere, you know, in between drivers, you know, I uh, think uh, there is a great, a great, uh, great talent, you know, like uh, Jan, what he's doing is, is fantastic. Uh, Harry also, I'm very happy to share the car with him. Uh, I think we, we get on very well together. So I think it's looking good for the future. Brilliant, well, best of luck, and I hopefully see you um, on the podium this time next year. We, we will do.